Hello students, welcome to my channel Mary Madam Tech Classes. Today we are going to continue the same topic from the chapter 1 introduction in data science. Another topic is finding key connectors. Let us see about this topic. Finding key connectors. In particular, you to identify who the key connectors are among data scientists. To this end of this topic, you will have a dump of the entire data scientist network. What does this data dump look like? It consists of a list of users, each represented by a dict that contains that user's ID with the number and the name. Let us see an example of the dictionary. Users is equals to ID with the zero, the name with the hero, ID with one and name with Jun. In the same way, zero to nine IDs, we are having the names from hero to these are all the different key width values. Let us see about this one. From the user dictionary, we are going to see the friendship data represented by a list of pairs of IDs. If you see here, the friendship pairs are 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 4, and so on. Let us see this thing with the representation of the network. Before going to see, let us see, let us take one example, the friendship pair of 0, 1. Let us take as the tuple 0, 1 indicates that the data scientist with 0 is hero and the data scientist with ID 1 is June, our friends. In this network, if you see in this data scientist net network, 0, 1 are friends, 0, 2 are friends, 1 and 3 are friends, 2 we still have to look at every pair to create the dictionary but we only have to do that once and we will get the different looks after that. How we are going to create the friendship pairs let us see by using the user dictionary. Initialize the dict initialize the dict with an empty list for each user id we are going to know friendships from each user ids let us have a look of this one and 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 there is another one and loop over the friendship pairs to populate it here we are taking taking a loop for i comma j should be in friendship pairs here friendships i dot append j what does it mean mean add j as a friend of user i and also the friendship j dot append i add i as a friend of user j what does this append means here i am giving an example here fruits list is here fruits is equals to list of items elements are apple banana cherry if I want to append fruits dot append orange, the output is I want I want to print fruits. What does it get means apple, banana, cherry with orange also. In the same way, here we should know the pairs. See here, I, J. Let us see. Let us move to the back with the network. Here, if you observe, for i, comma j should be in friendship pairs. This is the thing. 0, if you take 0, 0 colon, if you take 0 as i, it should be, who are the friends of 0? 0 is friendship with 1, 0 is friendship with 2. 1, comma 2, it is a list. If I take 1, 1 is friendship with, 1 is friendship with 3, 2, 0, 0, 1, sorry, 0, 2, 3. If you observe this, 0 is I. 
if you take j j is also friend of 0 2 is also friend of 0 so if you take another one 1 is friend when 1 is friend of 0 2 is also friend of 1 3 is also friend of 1 if you observe this code here i if you take i as 0 is a friend of 1 comma 2 so we are making the friendship friendships with the user ids if you move to the another friendship pairs now we have the friendships in a dictionary we can easily ask questions of our graph like what's the average number of connections here one question is rising what's the number of connections if you want to know the average number of connections first we have to find total number of connections this total of number of connections is by by summing the lengths of the friends list here is a code we are going to define number of friends of user here we are defining we are uh, defining the function with the number of friends number of friends how many friends does user have this is our concept uh, for user id user id is equals to user of id user id if user is one how many uh, user id is one friends of user ids is equals to friendships of friendships of user id next return we have to return the line of friends ids we we should calculate with all this we will get the with all this we will get the total number of connections here if you see total connections total connections is equals to sum of sum of number of friends of user for user in users if zero is friend user zero is user zero one is also user but one is friends friend of zero you got the point so we should know number of friends for each user zero is having two friends zero comma two zero is having two friends here we are going to know total connections if we observe here the output is 24 if you observe this diagram network 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 if you observe in this network each if you take 0 0 0 is friendship with 1 1 is friendship with 0 how many relationships are there 2 relationships 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 in the same way 1 is friendship with 3 3 is a friendship with 2 so how many 2 relationships how many connections are there 12 into 2 is equals to 24 how many connections are there 24 if we observe here how many total connections are there sum of friends sum of friends is 24 the output is 24 if you see the thing what is our question if you observe this one what what's the average number of collection connections before going to calculate the average number of connections we find we should find total number of connections this is getting by the summing the number of friends now we just divide the number of friends number of friends is equals to len of users how many users are there 10 users 0 to 9 users are there what is the count of that one 10 users are there so number of users is equals to 10 
average connections is equals to 24 connections uh, sorry average connections is equals to total number of connections by number of total connections how many 24 by number of connections 10 what is the output 2.4 this is the output yes it is also easy to find the most connected people they are the people who have the largest number of friends now there is another question who have the largest number of friends since they are not very many users we can simply sort them from most friends to least friends now we are going to see how many how many friends of each user having means that who have largest number of friends who have largest number of friends and we are we should sort from most friends to least friends from higher to least let us see here if you take the code create a list that list should be with user id and number of friends now let us see number of friends by user id user id comma number of friends of user if you take see here if you take 0 0 is having how many number of friends 2 friends how many 1 comma 2 yes so if you observe 0 is having 0 comma 2 0 is having 2 friends if you see if you see this diagram this network diagram one is having one two three so one is having how many friends three next zero is having two friends so zero comma two one is having three friends two is having three friends three is having three friends how two one four Now, 4 is having only 2 friends. 3, 5. 5 is having, 5 is having 3 friends. 4, 6, 7. 6 is having only 2 friends. 7 is also having 2 friends. 8 is having 2 friends. But 9 is having only one friend. Do you observe that one? 9 is having only one friend. If you move to our topic, if you see here, we will get the sorting values. How we will get the sorting values is by, there is a function. Observe here, number of friends id dot sort, sort function. To whom we want to sort, to whom we want to sort, we are using the key is equals to lambda id and friends, id and friends of 1. Reverse is equals to true. Reverse is equals to true. What we are telling, we want to calculate from most friends to least friends. If you see the output, sort what does it what is this output means sort the friends list by number of friends if you observe this diagram one is having three friends two three 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 five three eight three zero two four two six two seven two nine one just now i told you every every connection is having one or th two uh, sorry two or three connections are there but nine is having a single connection so this is the from highest to least friends this is this is why in this way we can calculate the number of friends on the way to think of what we have done is a way of identifying one way to think of what we have done is as a way of identifying people 
who are some central to the network. In fact, we have just computed in this network metric degree centrality. In this figure diagram, figure 1.2, data scientist are network sized by degree. If we observe here, if we observe the diagram clearly, 0 is having two friends. If you see the size, which one is having the highest one? 3 is the highest one. Why? Because 3, 2, 1. 3 is having three connections. 2 is having three connections. 1 is having three connections. So, the size of this 2, 3, 1 are somewhat different and also 5. 5 also having three connections. 4, 6, 7. If you observe the diagram clearly, you can know the circles are the circles are lot bigger when compared to 0, 4 and 9, 6, 7. Why? Because here if we observe in this network diagram, it is central T. 2, 3, 1, 5 or 8 are bigger. Why? Because they are having the connections, 3 connections, 0, 4, 6, 7. These are somewhat two connections. They are having that twice. The circle is somewhat little, uh, not bigger. When compared to the next sized degree, if you observe, very least connection is 9. Only one connection is there. So, this is about the connectivity between from each user to another user how they are making friendship with one to another if you see here the few lines this has the virtue of being good easy to calculate but it does not always give the results what you want to expect for example in this dune if you observe four is having the two connections and dune is having the three connection just now we discussed about this one so yet we look at the network it intuitively seems like Thor should be more central. If we observe, Thor should be more central. We can take this as the key connector, finding key connectors in data science network. Thank you for watching this channel. Please subscribe my channel, Mere Madam Tech Classes. Uh, if you click on the bell symbol, you will get more videos as in the form of new notifications. Please subscribe this channel. And thank you for watching once again. Take care. We will meet in another video. Bye.